filmed this weekend's vlog. Um, it's an eventing vlog, but it's a little bit different this weekend because we are actually heading up to Bicton this evening. I'm going to stay overnight. We're not actually on until half one, so there's no real reason to go up overnight as it wouldn't be a stupid early start. But I just wanted to give it a go, see if it made a difference in his energy levels maybe. And it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of something to add to it, really. So it's Saturday morning before work and I'm just packing the lorry up. <laughs> Um, and it feels a little bit more stressful actually because it's like, what do I need? But in reality, it's the same as normal, just with bedding, haylage and feeds in, I guess. So, fingers crossed I'll have everything packed. <laughs> well, I think that's everything in. We've obviously got tack, feed, bedding, haylage, water, over this side, my stuff and hay nets. I'd say we're ready to go. Everything's in the lorry. Now it's just time to go and get Boo. Um, I'm travelling up now because it saves that stress in the morning, gives us a bit more time in the morning, and it might, well the plan is, it might actually give him a little bit more energy. Let's see. Um, he's just had a little bowl of recovery mash, which he seemed to enjoy. I am wearing a top underneath here, by the way. He's <laughs> absolutely demolished that. Was that nice, bird? You better not be eating them flowers. Right, let's get you in. So, we have just arrived. I did stop on the way and have a cheeky McDonald's. Um, he's not actually stopped eating any of that haylage. Happy bird. Travelled like a little legend. Just been and found our stable. We're down there, down in Jay. Um, so I'm just going to quickly get everything in the stable so that I can get him out. I've um, parked up here while I unload, um, so I'll be should be quick really. Um, yes, I know. Um, so yeah, I better crack on and get his stable sorted so he can have some dinner. <laughs> Straight on to dinner, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah, good boy. It's held. Right, and let's go pick up your poo from the lorry so I've got somewhere to sleep. Here you go. You're all in, aren't you, bud? Just used to put his haylage net in for the night, but I wanted to make sure he had a bit of dinner first. Um, lorry's tidied out. All I need to do is pump up my bed <laughs> and then I can get into it. But I do need to pee, so. Need to find the toilets first. I'm hoping I might have a little bit of daylight to find out where the arenas are, but I have got plenty of time in the morning, so I can do that then. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited. I am up here alone, which is a bit scary, but I've got three Disney films downloaded on my iPad, hopefully enough d battery to watch it, and I've got loads of snacks, like probably more snacks than Tesco have got, so it should be a good night. All right, let's get your halogen, and then you're settled. final update from me as you can see I'm settled in my abode I've got my vlog I'm using this as a step if I need to get back out the lorry as I'm locked in uh, my water big bag of snacks and sweeties and another bag of stuff over there and obviously that's booze bedding um yeah it's quite cozy I'm actually relatively warm I packed really cozy pajamas <laughs> my Grinch ones um, thinking it'd be quite cold and it's not it's actually really warm this is a really bad angle of me um i've also got a torch over there um so yeah i'm pretty pretty set up for the night really and might actually i've got my hotspot on here so i might actually watch something new i'm just finishing meg's vlog 
<laughs> How ironic. I'm trying to vlog. This is this is what I want to be. Um, I'm blabbing now. Over and out. See you in the morning. Morning. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm shattered. <clears throat> it was absolutely freezing in here last night. Um, how ironic that I said I was too warm. <laughs> I think in the last video. Um, yeah, absolutely freezing in here. I had to get my jumper, I had to get my socks on. I slept under the duvet with my head underneath it. It was so cold. Um, but looking outside, it looks like it's really nice weather out there. So hopefully once I get out in the sun, I might warm up a bit. Um, dressage is at half one, so it's half seven now. I've got loads of time. I'm going back out, taking for a leg stretch. Um, Tap clean, walk the course, plan. What's to do? Plenty of time to do it. That's why I need to go a bit more. <sighs> We're learning to move. Anyway, you don't want to see me like this, so. I thought I'd take him out for a leg stretch. Um, well, I actually thought he'd just eat the grass, but all we seem to be doing is walking around. No worry, bud. What are you doing? Come on, come on, full of beans aren't you? That's good, that plan has worked, let's see if it lasts. I've got ages, so we need to get ready. Um, but I am gonna go in, I've still got my pyjama top on, so I need to put my boobs, I've still got my pyjama top on, so I need to go and change, because it is actually really warm. Um, I need to go get changed. I'm gonna put him back in the stable as I've got ages between dressage and show jumping, so I can muck out then, and I'm going to go walk the course across country. I'll take you with me as much as I can, so... <laughs> it's a very hilly course. Um, I worry I've not gotten fit enough, but we'll just see. This fence five. And to be honest, if you get this far, I'd be pleased. <laughs> Out we've only got the log, you go around this because that's crossed out, and then that's our B. That's nicer, and it means I can actually get a line to it, come out and get straight. <laughs> We're talking, we won't get this far, but if we do, if I get my line right, this could be a tiny little popover. Hmm? They're all fences we're capable of. There's nothing there. We haven't jumped before. Nothing there that's too big. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I'm saying all this as a person who's never actually finished a cross country course yet. However, we are capable, which is what I need to remember and keep in my head. We can do it. We are capable of it. So yeah, just gotta be positive and kick on. Oh, he looks hands on. Yes. Show them new flats. Say ta-da. He's like, they won't be in in an hour. <laughs>
did warm up beautifully. He did feel a little bit tense and a little bit on his toes, but thankfully I think that may have worked to my advantage slightly. However, I probably should have done a little bit more canter work just to really contain him. So here we go, we enter the centre line at A, working trot, proceed down the centre line without halting and C, track left, which we called a 7-4 with a comment of more supple on turn. And then straight into HXF, change the reigning working trot, again scoring a 7 with no comment from the judge. And then it was FA, working trot with a score of 6, an unbalanced moment in the corner, which you'll see here. Unfortunately, as I asked him to push into the corner, he thought I asked for canter. We had a little moment of canter there. And then it was A half circle 20 metre right to X. X half circle 20 metre left to C, which we scored a six and a half and a comment of supple. Between C and H, transition to working canter left. We scored a six and a half softer over back, which I was quite pleased with that. Yes, we had a little tail swish, but that was manageable. E 20 metre circle left in working canter, another 6.5. Better suppleness on the second half, which was absolutely right. He felt a little bit more like I could relax on the second half of the canter. We were in it, we were flowing. Moving on to between K and A, transition to working trot. We scored a six above bit in transition. As you know, transitions have always been a bit pants for us, especially the downwards. So there was a little moment there, but thankfully he regained contact. A, half circle 20 metres left to X, and then X, half circle 20 metres right to C. We scored a 7 for both of those, but with no comments from the judge. They felt quite nice, to be fair, a lot better than the first ones. On to the next canter, which was between C and M. We scored a 6.5 and a little tight in neck. He was starting to get a little bit heavier in the contact here. Um, it felt nice, but it did just feel a little bit downwards. Um, and then 20 metre circle right at B, again another 6.5, active but a little low in the pole. His canter and like legs felt great but he was still quite heavy in the hands. Um, and then it was between F and A transition to working trot, we scored a 6.5, better balance in the transition which I did feel that was much better. And then it was KE medium walk, we scored a 6.5, active but a little head tilt. Yes, <laughs> trying to ask him to get his head down, he just evades it entirely, so that was his way of evading today. And then EBF, half circle, 20 metres, right, free walk on a long rein. We scored a six, knees to stretch down and out. As you can see, he just basically became a llama and stuck his head as far out as he could rather than down, so that's definitely something to work on as that's a couple of comments have come up. FAD, medium walk, 6.5 we scored, softer to connection. It's always awful. Our walk is always horrible. I'm picking him back up. I always worry he might jog. Um, D, working trot. And then G, halt, immobility and salute. We scored a 7-4 with no other comments there. We scored a 7 for our paces, 6.5 for impulsion, suppleness, submission and position. Finishing on a score of 34.3 with lovely comments of lovely partnership, has fab active paces when more supple over the back into the bridle will gain higher marks. Nice. Dressage is complete. Oh my god, his canter felt insane. Like a little floaty butterfly under me. Um, we did break into canter a bit early on one of the moves, but it's fine. He held his own. A little unbalanced in a few corners. I think he <laughs> tried to go out the arena, but it's fine. Walk was walk um i'm really pleased actually really really pleased hopefully it's the start of a good day to come we've now got two hours to show jumping so we've got the stable still so pop them in there and probably go get some food show jumpy jumping's times warmed up very keen and very very strong and thankfully I did also buy my equireal after the event so we can see all of the fences 
came into fence number one keen as ever and then I kind of lost them a little bit around this corner as I pushed him on and I was like whoa hang on we've got quite a long line here everyone's getting fence three down let's be ready for this and sadly I just let him run on again and we got to fence three down which was a real shame because he was jumping so so well but thankfully we got everything back fence four gathered ourselves up again and then came round the corner to this oxer which he absolutely flew over and then it was down a line again on a little dog's leg to this tight, tight double, which thankfully he picked up, took these up for and did it in a nice long stride. Flew round fence seven, which once more, he jumped really nice and I was ready for this related distance this time. Held him together and popped over fence eight really nicely as well. Unfortunately, the last clip seems to have disappeared from the Equa reel. Um, so I added this in for my dad's phone where he absolutely beasted fence nine. Now I have bought my Ecra reel, which I will attach for you to watch after this. However, I'd seen a few people before me that had walked up to the first fence, so I thought, that's probably a good idea, I'll give it a go. But I honestly felt like if I dropped my hands for one second, Boo was just gonna shoot off. So I didn't, I went back to the Starbucks and waited, and I cannot believe the feeling he gave me. He felt like a different horse, he knew what that Starbucks meant, and he came out so, so strong. So I'll show you a few clips that my mum and dad and Lucy got of me going around the course and then I'll leave you to watch the Equa Reel and just enjoy it really. One thing I will add before we get to the Equa Reel is it wasn't a clear round. We did have two stops and funnily enough it was the two fences that I've been thinking about and worrying about all evening which just proves it is down to my riding and not him but my god. This Echo Reel is one I will be watching back for years.
Good boy! As you'll have just seen, the round was far from perfect and I did land and burst straight into tears. But the aim of that day was to literally just finish a cross country course. I didn't care what the results were. <laughs> finally! Oh, finally, finally, finally. Got that finish line feeling. Was it clear? No. Do I care? No. Oh, the feeling was just different from the, from the get-go. Oh, finally! Well, we're home. I've got my unicorn underway out to the field. I'm so buzzing. I honestly, this is the feeling that I've been missing. And I cannot quite believe it. I'm sorry, this um, the whole vlog's been a bit disjointed. As Despite having so much time, we also didn't film. My phone didn't have much charge either, because obviously I was <laughs> using it in the lorry in the night before. Um, so yeah, come on Danny, going out now. Um, thank you so much for everybody who watched and sent love and support before we got going. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here because there's so much cool footage that hopefully you want to see on the Equireel. So yeah, over and out everyone. <laughs>